Okay, I'm going to show you guys something really cool here. First thing I'm going to do is turn my toaster oven on. And I've got it set at uh, about 350 degrees. And inside I got a little tiny thermometer in there that uh, tells me when it hits 350. And so I came up with a new tool here that uh, allows you to make uh, rubber molds in the toaster oven. It has a couple different sizes. This is the standard size. I got two other sizes. And so what I'm going to do here is really important you got to wash your hands. They got to be really clean. Then we'll put uh, talc here. You can use mica powder. I just have the talc. Don't breathe it in. So we put that on the bottom half. And then this is the mold frame. It's got a, a hole drilled through it for the brass rod. That sits right down there like that. And then I've got kind of a generic mold rubber here. It's got this paper on it. you got to peel the paper off. And then what you do is you knead it down with the... Uh, thumb and fingers here. You want to kind of stretch it out so it's about the size of, uh, of that. You add a little powder to the bottom. Drop that in there. Push it down some more. Get it out to the sides of the uh, frame here. Once you do that then you grab another piece. Tear off the paper. You want to make sure there's no paper on it. We do the same thing again. We use our fingers and thumbs and we kind of stretch it out, get it a little bigger. And we put that on top of the other one. No talc that time because we want these two to here together. So we get that in there really good. Then we use the talc again. We powder it really good in there. And so the next thing we do is we have this little cone here. It's a brass cone. And that goes down here. And the little bar slides right into it kind of see that there like that. And then this is a pattern of a butterfly wing. And I've cut the end here so it fits right in there. And so it's going to share that little cone. Now, once we have that, then we have these little cones here. They're called mold locks. Uh, some people bend these little tabs over. I don't know if you can see them, but they're real sharp. Uh, I've found that I prefer not to with this particular type of mold. And so I'm going to push these in all the way down. This is a real tough mold rubber. If the, if the mold rubber was softer and squishier, I'd bend those tabs in but not with this particular type of mold rubber. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna put three in here and so you can get a pretty good idea. You wanna have about an eighth of an inch away from the mold frame and you wanna have some space, maybe a little more than an eighth away from your piece there. So once we get that in there, we talc it again. Now you don't want the talc to get down into your pattern because you don't want it to, you don't want to breathe this stuff in. Best to wear a mask, but you want, you want to get the talc out of the pattern so that it doesn't uh, cause problems with, with the detail. So the next step here, make sure the hands don't have talc on them. Peel off the paper on the second layer. And we do the
the same thing again. We squish it out on the ends here. And so on this piece, we're going to telk the bottom. We're going to set that on top. You want to push it down in there really good. Careful those little uh, sharp little tabs. That one just poked through and got me right in the finger. Okay. Last thing, we take this last piece of mold rubber here. Take the paper off. And this one, we gotta stretch it out on the ends. So I get these in big sheets. And then I have a die that I created so that I can punch these out. And it, it seemed to work best that uh, they punched out at one size and then I could s squish them up to the size I need. Okay, that fits right over that. You want to keep it within the mold frame. And once you do that, then more telk. And we have the top part of the mold frame. I call it a mold holder, I guess. That fits over that. Screw these down. Want these to be even. So we cinch them down a little at a time, trying to keep it even. You can kind of pick it up, uh, try and make sure the mold is centered inside here. So you want to have the same type of gap, if at all possible, all the way around. Now you're done making the mold. Uh, this has been heating for approximately seven or eight minutes. And so the temperature is up where I want it to be, which is right between 330 and 350. So we slide that in there, just like that. Close the door and now it's, it will sit in here for 50 minutes at which time I will take it back out, I'll place it onto something metal, and let it cool down so that it's to the point where I can just touch it, uh, but it's still just kind of warm. And uh, so that's it for this video, and then I'll do another one opening the mold. Thank you.